Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I've been a longtime champion of SSH FS, a method that essentially lets you mount your Steam Deck as a drive letter on your Windows desktop. It is my favorite way to manage files on the Steam Deck's SSD and SD card. It's what I use and honestly, it's what I'll keep using no matter what the test results show today. People always ask me, what's the absolute fastest way to get files from PC to Steam Deck? So I finally did the legwork and ran a deep dive test, not just to find out the fastest method, but to see how much difference your network setup makes. Spoiler alert, Wired is king, but the full story has a few surprises. Let's dig in. Before we jump into the results, a few disclaimers. As with anything PC related, there are dozens of ways to scan a cat, file sharing included. I didn't test every method, just the ones most relevant to managing files from your PC to the Steam Deck. I also ran each test over both Wi-Fi and wired ethernet where applicable and recorded transfer speeds when possible. Just a reminder, your internet speed doesn't matter here. We're talking about local network transfers, but your local network hardware does matter and your results may differ depending on your setup. No two networks are identical. So while these numbers aren't gospel, the results are definitely interesting. Let's start with the test parameters. I used a single consistent test file, a 25.9 gigabyte MP4 file I created myself, stored in the same folder on my PC for every test. I transferred it to the same location each time, the home slash downloads folder on the internal SSD of my one terabyte OLED Steam Deck running OS 3.7.8. In short, I created the most ideal testing conditions possible to see how each method performs when everything else is dialed in. To keep results clean, I reset conditions between tests, rebooted the deck, the router, the PC, when needed to eliminate these anomalies. If something seemed out of line, I repeated the test. The transfer methods tested are SSHFS, WinSCP over SSH, Rust desk on a local self-hosted relay server. Each test was conducted three different ways, deck on Wi-Fi, deck wired using the official Steam Deck dock, and the deck wired using a Ugreen USB-C ethernet adapter plugged directly into the deck. The PC was always wired for consistency, and yeah, I removed all magnetic adapters to eliminate any weird performance hits. I also tested sneaker net methods, the classic plug and chug routine. Removed the SD card and wrote directly to it from my PC using Linux file system for Windows. Copied to a USB 3.0 external drive, moved it to the deck and copied it back. Now these aren't sexy solutions, but they're practical, so I had to include them. And you may be surprised how they stack up, especially compared to some of the Wi-Fi methods. Next, the big myth, the magical just plug in a cable method using MTP or media transfer protocol. Because someone would definitely ask, I also tested Samba or SMB sharing. SMB only works one way, deck reaching into the PC, which is not my use case, but I tried it anyway. Let's take a look at the results. All right, I know this spreadsheet looks really scary, but we're gonna try to break this down. The testing parameters were along the top in case you need to review them. We've got three sections, SSHFS, WinSCP, and Rust Desk, along with some of the oddball things down below. The conveyances here are the official dock, wired, Wi-Fi using the wired PC, all of these are using the wired PC, and a Ugreen USB standalone cheap ethernet adapter, also wired. So this is our Wi-Fi test. These two are our wired tests. And I wanted to use something cheap so that if you didn't wanna to have to worry about the official dock, what could you expect from something cheap like this? So let's start off by looking at each of the times to complete for each section. I'll explain this finished thing in a minute, but let's take a look. So Wi-Fi, Oddly enough, and you can tell by my color coding, Wi-Fi, believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe, are all the worst times. Everything in red, the worst times. 
Rust Desk was actually the fastest, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. WinSCP and SSHFS both clocked in at pretty high numbers. WinSCP was considerably shorter, but I'm not talking about that much shorter with Rust Desk. But suffice to say, Wired always produced the worst speeds. We take a look at the Ugreen USB-C and the official dock. This I thought was kind of interesting. They're both using the exact same ethernet cable on the exact same hub. Everything is exactly the same, but look what actually showed up to be the best in class. I was actually kind of surprised. I thought between a standard, especially a standard USB-C that was plugged directly into the top of the deck, I'm not splitting it, I'm not sharing it, it was just, that's it. The official dock still, dare I say, kicked its ass, right? I mean, we're, it doesn't look like a big difference, but at scale, these time differences can really mean a lot. So when it came to wired performance, whether it was SSHFS, WinSCP, or Rust Desk, wired using the official dock was the fastest time, and WinSCP was actually the winner across the board for all different types of conveyances at four minutes and 32 seconds for that 26 gigabyte file. Now, the other ones were kind of close, right? With the, Within a minute, uh, very close times, but at the end of the day, this is like the best of the best of the best, sir, with honors uh, here on this top section. I thought it was interesting that the disparity of numbers here wasn't very vast. I reran this like 10 times because I didn't think that was quite possible. So whatever nonsense is going on here, Rust Desk cleaned the clock pretty much across the board. Um, but of course, that's something that you have to set up and run. And remember, I was using a local relay server, which could have caused some differences in the numbers that you might see. So, standalone winner right here, duh, WinSCP using the official dock. All right, let's take a look at some of these oddball ones. This surprised the living hell out of me. There's a thing called Linux File System for Windows. It's a driver you run on a Windows PC that allows you to read and write to an EXT4 micro SD card. I would have thought this would have given us like the best performance and it was really 26 minutes, right? We're talking four minutes and 32 seconds for WinSCP, or if you did it this way, including some copy time and moving the, the drive between the PC and the deck, 26 minutes and 15 seconds. I don't know why it puts these zeros on here. I keep trying to take it off and it won't go away. I'm not an Excel genius, but whatever. So obviously this is the worst way to do it right there. I'm gonna bold that guy, worst way to do it, period. So, however, I will say something about this though. This is very stable and steady. If I were going to move say 200 gigabytes of stuff from my PC to my SD card, I would probably set this up, start it running in a with a quality file manager like Directory Opus, and I'd go to bed and it'd be done in the morning and it wouldn't matter. I'm looking for stability and unattended performance. I probably would still use this. Let's move on to the other sneaker net methodology. I grabbed a Western Digital external USB 3.0 drive and uh, I copied the 26 gigabyte file to the drive, unplugged it, plugged it into the deck and copied it back over to the destination folder. No shocker there, it was almost twice as long as pretty much any of the methods up here. So um, yeah, you could do that, and uh, but you're not saving a lot of time. And if you think you are, you're not. Plus you have to actually do the work, right? You have to move it back and forth. You have to do all that stuff. So uh, MTP, everybody thinks that if they plug a, a cable in between the deck and the PC, if that were possible, it would be so fast. Well, it's not, it's, it's good, but it's not blow away good, right? So we got about the same average speed somewhere along the same route with MTP as we did. You're gonna hear my dogs bark. Sorry about that. As we did, um, with the uh, wired file transfers. You're going, hey, well, that sounds great. It's right on par. Yeah, but you got to plug it in. You've got to use a really good quality uh, cable. You have to have the right rated cable. And I guarantee you probably don't have one of those. So you're going to have to buy it. 
You're going to have to go into your BIOS and monkey with it in order to get this plug to work. And you have to use Decky Loader, which I honestly don't recommend anymore because it breaks all the time. So that, I mean, this was supposed to be this huge Hail Mary and I couldn't wait to see if it really was. And the answer was it wasn't. Also, because I like to be thorough, I wanted to test Samba sharing or SMB sharing. Now, unfortunately, SMB only works one way from the deck to the PC. So you don't get to sit on your PC with a nice, comfortable file manager doing this and that or, or uh, you know, sitting at your desk while you're copying to your deck. You have to sit on the couch or whatever with your deck and access your PC and move the files over that way. So. To me, SMB is not what I was looking for, but I wanted to test the speeds anyway, because I was curious, why does every single speed seem about the same? And if you look across the board, when you take away goofy crap like Wi-Fi, which is, Wi-Fi is basically the devil, right? You can't rely on it. It's not dependable. It's not reproducible. A guy downloading porn next door could actually impact your speeds. So th the point is, is that if you're, if you, if you've, if you've got it locked in, right with wired you're always almost always going to get the same result um but i thought it was weird that no matter what conveyance we chose wired or wireless if you did the same thing right so here's a wireless smb which falls into about the same average space here on wireless on wi-fi very interesting but i will tell you and i ran this two or three times to prove out the number wired with SMB using the official dock. I did not test it with the USB-C from Ugreen. It actually gave me the fastest performance, right? The fastest performance was SMB, but you can't do it from the PC. You can't mount it as a drive letter. You can't use your favorite file manager. You gotta use what's on the deck. For some people, this is fine. So that's great. For me, the whole point of me wanting to use SSHFS at all is so I could use Windows tools, Windows file managers, Windows space sniffers, Windows file manipulation tools directly on my deck as a drive letter. And that's the power and beauty of SSH. I am willing to pay a little bit longer of a price to, uh, to have that level of flexibility. Results, SMB was about on par with WinSCP, but only when wired. It was flaky for me in the past, but this time around it seemed stable. Could SteamOS 3.7.8 be part of that solution? Dunno. If you want a deep dive on Samba, let me know in the comments. Wired on both ends, using the official dock and WinSCP was the fastest setup. No surprise there. The Ugreen adapter was close behind, but the dock had a slight edge. The slowest method by far was SSHFS over Wi-Fi. When SCP was also noticeably faster, but Rust Desk, that one shocked me. It performed well over Wi-Fi, almost as good as when it was wired. Again, I use a self-hosted Rust Desk relay, which may explain the strong numbers. If you're using public relays, your mileage may vary. As for the finished column on my test chart, everything completed successfully, but I left it in for one reason. On SteamOS 3.6, long SSH or SSHFS transfers were, would appear to hang. Turns out this wasn't a fail, it was just slow writing to the SD card. I suspect OS 3.7 may have fixed this, or maybe it just didn't show up because I only used the internal SSD. More testing is needed. Let's wrap this up. If you're okay working on the deck itself, SMB was slightly faster than WinSCP in the same wired conditions. MTP technically fast, but the caveats aren't worth the hassle. Bottom line, if you want peak performance without headaches, grab a cheap ethernet adapter, a dock, and use ethernet with WinSCP. Want to learn how to set up SSHFS and unlock that kind of workflow? Check the link in the top right or hit the description for my full tutorial and powerful web app that helps generate the perfect config file. If you love what we do, leave a like. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and be sure to leave a comment while you're down there. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.